Hello, my name is Father Jerry Herta. Welcome to the Catholic Financial Life Advent Reflection for the second week of Advent. Allow me to begin this reflection with the Sunday Gospel reading for the second Sunday of Advent. The reading comes from the Gospel of Mark. The beginning of the Gospel, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. John the Baptist appeared in the desert proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him, were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey. And this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This uh, Gospel reading is the very beginning of the New Testament. Mark is the earliest writing of the New Testament, the very first Gospel to have been written. And it's it is uh, followed, is closely connected to the very last book of the Old Testament, and that is the book of the prophet Malachi. Malachi had written about 400 years earlier, and in Malachi's reading in his book, he had promised the coming of a Messiah. In the very end of Malachi's reading, ties in very closely to what we just read in Mark's Gospel, where Malachi finishes the reading by saying, see, I will send you the prophet Elijah. Now that prophecy of sending the prophet Elijah is fulfilled in the New Testament by John the Baptist. John the Baptist comes and appears preparing the way for Jesus. It's easy for us to see John as this crazy man with wild hair, eating strange food, wearing strange clothing. But we know that he is a very important figure of the, Old, of the New Testament, a very important figure in preparing for the coming of the Messiah. His call was for repentance, asking people to turn away from sin and to be baptized. Or he was one who prepared the way for the coming of the Messiah, for the coming of Jesus. Just as a president or a pope traveling to a foreign country would have someone go in advance to prepare the way and make sure everything was in place, John the Baptist set the stage for Jesus to enter the scene. And John the Baptist proclaimed this message of repentance, allowing Jesus then to come and enter the scene to proclaim his message of the kingdom of God. So in the midst of this Advent season, we are called to heed the words of John the Baptist to repent of our sins, to prepare 
for the coming of Christ. Yet the image of repentance seems more appropriate for the season of Lent than it does for the season of Advent. But yet this theme is a theme that we hear in this gospel reading that we truly are called to live. Because Advent is also the beginning of the new church year, the new uh, season of readings and the new calendar church year. Similar to January 1st, the start of our calendar year, we are called to change our ways. On January 1st, many people make resolutions and make uh, promises that they will try and change their lives, go on a diet, exercise more, give up smoking, take care of themselves in some way. And so these resolutions are a new beginning, a repent repentance of things they have done wrong in the past with the hope of changing. And that's what John the Baptist is calling us to do, to recognize in our lives our call to change, our call to repentance. It is a call for a new start. Prepare the way for the coming of Christ. God wants us to repent of our sinful ways and to find a way to peace and joy as we prepare to draw closer and closer to Christmas, we long for peace. We long for joy in our life. Such a life is possible if we prepare our hearts to follow the ways of the Lord. And so today we open our hearts, we open our minds, we open our lives to that possibility that possibility of turning from our sinfulness, repenting, and finding peace and joy. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, soften our hearts to hear and be receptive to the voice crying out in the wilderness. We ask this through Christ, our Lord, amen. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.